Hello, welcome to What's So Modern podcast. I hope you are having a fantastic day. My name is Lex Worth, and today we are going to be talking about a pop artist who is a favorite of mine. Her name is Evelyn Axel. Let's get started. Pop art was popping up in the 1960s all across America and Britain. The term pop art was coined in 1958 by British artists drawing inspiration from popular culture. Pop art came out of neo-Dadaism in the early 60s. Most of us can recall a couple names from this movement, but can you recall a woman? Evelyn Axel was born Evelyn Devo into a Catholic family on August 16th 1935 in Namur, Belgium. In 1953, when Evelyn was 18, she studied ceramics at the Namur School of Art, later studying drama at a school in Brussels. In 1956, Evelyn married Jean Antony, a film director who specialized in art documentaries. She changed her last name to Axel for her acting career, which her husband supported. Evelyn gained a decent amount of popularity locally, working as a newscaster, but found herself bored. Eventually, Evelyn moved to Paris in 1959 to pursue a more serious acting career, moving back home and then starred in three movies. She lost her taste for acting and decided to devote her life to painting full-time in 1963 at the age of 28. A friend of her husband, named René Marguerite, a popular Belgian surrealist, took on Evelyn as his mentee. Evelyn was inspired by the emerging artists of the 1960s pop art movement in New York, names you may recognize like Jim Dine, Andy Warhol, and Marisol. The works Evelyn made as a student under the wing of Magritte included a series of collages that depicted women in a state of pleasure. Evelyn was an activist for civil rights, as well as women's liberation of desire. Her art grew in popularity, but the criticism came along with it, so she started to sign her works as Axel. In an interview, Axel stated, The most extraordinary beings I have ever met were almost all women. I find women most exquisite. They are everything at once. Voluptuousness, luxury, frivolity, tenderness, courage, greed, and total selfishness. This is to say, the synthesis of the weaknesses and strengths of mankind. One of my absolute favorite works by Axel is called Ice Cream. It is oil on canvas and was created in 1964. The canvas is slightly square, vertical. From the top right corner to the middle left is a face of a woman painted in black and white. She has her eyes closed and mouth open with her tongue licking an ice cream cone. The cone is held in her left hand, which is also black and white, in the bottom left corner. The ice cream cone is a light tan color with a dual split scoop of ice cream in green and then pink. What appears to be the hair of the woman is in a flat, bright orange color, blending into the background with childlike waves in green, yellow, and blue, arranged on a diagonal. You can view this piece at the Walker Art Center in Minneapolis. In 1967, Evelyn had her first solo art exhibition in Brussels. At this time, she decided to walk away from traditional oil paints to starting to work with new materials. Her most popular works consisted of plastic cutouts of female forms painted with enamel paints. One of her early works, titled Valentine, is attributed to the space race and uncovering feminist intimacy, as well as a direct homage to Valentina Treshkova, the first woman to fly in space. In 1969, Axel won the Young Belgian Painters Prize, which was rare to win as a woman. Art critic Pierre Restini said, The Belgian painter Evelyn Axel has joined the company of Woman Powers Art, with Nikki de saint Fale from France, Yayoi Kusama from Japan, and Marisol from Venezuela, and the list goes on. These women are living their sexual revolution as real women, with all the direct, unsurprising consequences. The other side is taking the initiative. Sadly, at the height of her career, Evelyn Axel's life was cut short in a tragic car accident in Belgium. She died the 10th of September in 1972 at the age of 37. Her career and life's work began to fade away, while popular male pop artists' names can be recalled at the drop of a hat. Recently, Axel's work has begun gaining popularity, with museum showcases to the cover of music albums. In 2014, music group Lucius, a duo made up of Jess, Wolf, and Holly Lasig, 
sing songs about the liberation of women in the album titled Wild Woman. There on the cover of the album is the painting by Axel, Ice Cream, with the name Lucius in the bottom corner. Axel's life and legacy are still inspiring young and old women to take initiative and to be free and wild. <laughs>